Like most people, I grew up in a family where nobody talks about money. My father was a farmer who worked harder than most people, I know. I am not sure he worked that hard because he loved his cocoa farm. I think he worked hard because he wanted money. Unfortunately, he never gets enough of it. Going through the school and the church in my country aren't different. Nobody talks to me about money. So there I was at age 17 going through a major emotional crisis of my life. I was wondering, why are most people poor? Why do a few people seem to have too much when most people have nothing? I couldn't discuss this with anyone in my family, school or church because they were all poor. So I turned to books. I read and read as if my life depended on it. That was about 16 years ago and today when I look back, nothing has changed except that I have changed. Though today I have more money than most people, the situation of the world is still the same. A few people make too much money while most people always struggle for money. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the three important rules I learned which changed my financial life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Don't sell time. It's too scarce. Growing up, I wanted to be an accountant. I was so crazy about the dream of becoming an accountant that nobody could be a better student than I was in accounting class. However, when I started reading books about money and I discovered that as an accountant, I would have to sell my time for money all my life, I left school. Listen, we all have only 24 hours in a day. If you think that is a lot, consider that only one third of those hours are productive hours. We all have very limited energy and that means we can't work all day. But let's assume that you're a superman and you can work 20 hours every day. Well, working 20 hours every day won't still make you rich. I've spoken about this a few times and I want to repeat myself here. Until you can work a thousand hours in a day, you can never become rich. Show me any human being who has more than enough money and I will show you that none of them sell their time because an individual's time is too limited. So, what can you sell instead? Well, sell the scalable value. Sell value that could be sold without your full-time effort. This is not as difficult as it sounds, I tell you. The problem we have, however, is that most people are not trained to sell value or anything for that matter. All my life I've been on the street trying to sell and I can tell you that selling is not as difficult as most people think. Now, let me give you a simple formula that can change your life completely. Focus on other people, their needs and problems. Focus on the world, our needs and problems. One interviewer once asked Elon Musk something like, why are you a billionaire when you claim you want to save the world? Meaning, if you truly love to save the world, why are you so rich doing it? This line of thinking is like, if you want to help other people, then you shouldn't be wealthy doing it or the rich are greedy and that's why they make a lot of money. As a student of money, you must not believe that. The opposite is the truth. The rich are rich because they are generous. The rich are rich because they are selfless and I'll give you a simple personal example here. In the year 2013, I wrote a book. To confess to you, I didn't know what I was doing. I was simply angry and I wanted to put my anger into a book. Little did I know that many people would like my book. So, when I noticed that many people liked my book, I decided to stop selling it. Instead, I decided to start giving the book out for free. This, of course, doesn't make sense. Traditional thinking says when you have a product that people like, then increase its price, right? But I worked against this norm instead of giving the book out for free. Then the miracle happened. Thousands of people started downloading my book and when most people read the book, they were shared with others which made the book even more popular. And before I knew it, people started registering much more for my other training programs, invited me for speaking engagements and meetings with other important people and I started making 10 times more money giving my book away than selling it. Don't sell time, sell value. To create value, pay attention to other people's needs, love people and be willing to solve their problem. Be generous and you'll get more in return. Use other people's brains, time and energy or yours will be used. After the last point, someone would ask me, but it still takes time to create and sell value. Yes, it does. 
but it doesn't have to be your own time. Over the years, I've talked about selling value using other people's time, brains and energy. While this topic is a very harsh one, it's like others' lives' realities. It's tough, but it's true. Life is like a jungle. You cannot afford to be the weakest animal because if you do, you're gone. Think about a soccer game. There's an opposing team and one of them has to win. If you don't win, you'll be won. Think about the battlefield. If you don't kill your enemy, he'll kill you. Yeah, some of the above analogies are too harsh but you get the picture. There are two groups of people in the world. People who buy other people's time and people who sell their time. You know who's rich out of the two groups. The first rule of money is don't sell your time. Sell value. I've shared with you how to create value. So, how do you sell or even create value without selling your time? That leads us to the second rule which is use other people's time, brains and energy. How do you do this? Learn how to cooperate, partner and ask other people questions. Second, learn how to employ people and build a team. You need some money to achieve the second step but you don't need money to start with the first step. Even when I had no money, I still used other people's brains, time and energy. I learned a lot about human relationships and negotiation. I made friends with quality people, helped them with whatever they needed that I could offer and ask them for partnership or to help me out in a way I needed. Some of these people rejected me while some accepted my proposal. I did this for many years until I started making reasonable money. Today, I am at the second step. Because I have some money, I no longer have to wait too long to get people to be a part of my team. Don't kid yourself. The game of money is like football. You need a team. You can't win the game of soccer alone. You must learn how to steal other people's brains. You must learn how to cooperate and form a partnership. And as time goes on, you must learn how to employ and delegate. That's how you work a thousand hours in a day. Use technology for your selfish reason. I've told you earlier that the rich are not selfish but now I'm telling you to use technologies for your selfish reason. Here's the thing. Every successful business in any generation leverages on technology. Today, when you hear technology, your mind goes to the computer and artificial intelligence. Well, those are some of the technologies we have in our generation but you must not forget that every generation has new technologies. It took technological advancement for our ancestors to discover that they could plant crops. It took technological advancements for them to discover that they could create clothes. It was a technology that helped our ancestors to know that they could build houses, create electricity, use horses for transportation, eat on a plate, ride on a stone, create soap or fly in the sky. Some of these things may look unimportant today but it was a big deal when they were invented and the work of smart people in any of those generations and ours is to use those technologies for their advantage. The problem with this is that only a few people in any generation ever use technology to make money. Others simply love to consume those technologies. A good example in my personal life was at a time when my company was spending as much as $3,000 every month on Facebook ads and I still met people who think they never give Facebook any money. Well, if you use Facebook, YouTube or any other website out there, you either get paid or pay. That's why I advocate selfishness here. Look around you and see numerous technologies all around. Are you taking advantage of any one of them? Does your business have a website? Mine does and we make money through them. Does your business use social media? Do you make money when sleeping because you use a few technologies to make sales for you? At the end of the day, what separates people who are poor from those who are rich is the ability of the rich to sell value instead of time. Use other people's time, brain and energy and leverage heavily on the technologies.